Hi, I'm Serena Martin and I head up corporate development at BBC Studios, having previously worked at Sky and Deloitte. And I also advise and mentor a range of startups in the tech and media space. The reason I'm here today is because I, along with many other people in my industry, believe that gaming is the entertainment medium of the future and your children will probably tell you it's already here. Video gaming is the most used media amongst all of Gen Z, 90% uh, of whom are gamers, and Gen Z spend 50% more time and money on gaming activities than they do on any other media. I'm thrilled to introduce Smash Mountain Studios, who have already built a really compelling and sophisticated gaming product that serves an untapped community of gamers and martial artists and a product that has huge headroom to grow. I believe they're on the precipice of transforming the industry for these audiences and in the meantime will create a very, very valuable business. So I'm very pleased to introduce to you Duda. I am a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. It took me seven years to smash this challenge, but I've made it. Achieving the black belt is not the end. It's actually when you start to learn for real. I'm also a gamer with a passion for creation, and this is why I co-founded Smash Mountain Studio, to smash everything in our way to deliver remarkable games. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about video games here. This is no SaaS, and we are in entertainment, which is fandom-driven. Fandom stands for community of fans, and this generates valuable IP here. One can definitely say that martial arts influence in entertainment is massive. Existing fighting games are mainly about button bashing. Players are not allowed to care about martial arts because they need to focus on controller skills and quick reflexes. Martial arts deserve more. Our solution smashes into this gap with a new new game concept that changes the player focus of attention. It is about strategy and genuine martial arts representation. Players don't just play, they learn and visualize real-life techniques and sports rules through play. With my background, we've seen an opportunity to smash into the gaming market by tapping the 500 million fans of Mixer Martial Arts. We've created the first Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game in the world, BJJ, B Jiu-Jitsu. This beta version has proven organic traction with over 15,000 monthly active users, over 1,000 paying customers, including someone who has spent almost $4,000 with in-app purchases with the game in the current stage, over 3 million matches played, and all that to test our unique combat system, and we have proved demand. Our game taps the major fandom behind UFC success, which is the main brand in mixed martial arts, and that was acquired for $4 billion back in 2016. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu market size in the US alone is estimated to be over $2 billion, and this community is underserved in the gaming space, hence the major opportunity here. The strength and expansion of this martial art is so impressive that many celebrities and high-end executives practice it regularly, such as Tom Hardy, Aston Kutcher, and Mark Zuckerberg. What an amazing network, isn't it? <laughs> I do believe that you should join us. Or maybe not. Safer to just play the game. <laughs> BJJ's complete version will count with three groups of revenue streams. The main one is the free-to-play business model, where a percentage of players will spend, let's say, from $2 to over $10,000 with in-app purchases. They spend as they wish. We also offer in-game rewards for players that watch video ads. 
and subscription for extra content, boosters, and to get rid of these ads. With a Web3 layer, we want to give players ownership of in-game assets and their progression. So for instance, they will be able to cash back their time span on the game by selling the avatars at some point if they wish to. We also have other ways to monetize BJJ's fandom, such as B2B opportunity, that we can discuss this later on. With BJJ framework, we want to build the go-to platform for every martial arts lover in the world. We are calling it the B-Games platform. So be jiu-jitsu, be kung fu, be muay thai, be boxing, be whatever. We want to be the leading creators of martial art games. Our team has worked together for many years. So besides BJJ, we've built some immersive experience applications for big clients. And we are raising up to 650,000 pounds to complete BJJ development with its core features and web free layer in year one, launch the game in year two, develop the big games platform so that in year three, we start launching new games and get inside the rocket to scale. This is a typical mobile game life cycle. In here, it is the soft launch period. We are still developing the game. We are iterating, testing, iterating, testing, iterating, until retention is good enough and other KPIs so we can launch the game here. As you can see, there is a peak in daily active users because marketing and PR are in full power. Arquero, which is the game in the chart, has made over $8 million just in the first month. After that, we have the live ops period or the game as a service period. We are here. With your help, we get to here. This is our financial model for the next five years. As you can see, we've modeled the daily active users curve as the previous one, but we've considered one new launch per year. I'll be more than happy to discuss this with you afterwards. When people say they will move mountains to achieve their goals, we at Smash Mountain Studio, we say, why move if we can smash? every obstacle in our journey to original creations. So let's do it together. Us. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Thank you, Duda. I gotta say, I'm not a gamer at all, but I do love this game. I started playing it in the beginning of the cohort, and I warn you, it is highly addictive. Adding Web3 to that is only gonna add to that. Duda is also one of our most committed founders. He moved here from Brazil, uprooting his entire life. That's how much he believes in this, um, in this company. So thank you, Duda, and he's also the kindest man I never want to get into a fight with, basically. <laughs>